<sighs> yes, last song out for the first rehearsal of semi-final one is Finland with Keria and Cha Cha Cha. And you know what? What I did when I was waiting for this, I was like, how would I rank this rehearsals? I need to watch this first. But I have since I've seen sneak peeks. I've seen sneak peeks of these rehearsals, and Finland pretty much nailed it. They took the national selection performance from UMK, make it ten times bigger. I love it. And also, when I was watching this, I was like, yeah, I wanted him to bring the ballroom dances, bring the cookie craziness. And meanwhile, I was waiting for this. I was like, oh, I want to go see some ballroom dancing on YouTube. And then I was uh, figuring, I was, you know, you, you, you click here and you click there. And then I was like, I was sitting and watching videos of the ballroom icon, Paddy and Nico, who was on the BGT, AGT, and then Spain's Got Talent, and apparently Miss Paddy was still dancing on Spain's Got Talent two years ago when she was 87, so, girl, you better bring it. I mean, shout out to Miss Paddy and Nick, Paddy and her fabulous dancer, Nico. Those two, I love, I remember when I was reacting to them on Britain's Got Talent, the champions, and then AGT and everything. I, re I love them. So anyway, let's see Kerry's performance and then we wrap up the semifinal one uh, i see denmark's uh, is already out uh, with photos but i will wait for the f for the rehearsal clip and then i'm gonna talk my new top 15 list i ranked the rehearsals how i, I will rank them but anyway let's see finland i love the fact that the ballroom dances is back I love him, he's so cute, and I love the fact that the, the ballroom dancer, they look even more cr crazy cartoon now with the slick hair. I guess it's a headpiece, but they look even more crazy, and that's the vibe of the whole song, I love it. So cute. <laughs> I mean, this is gonna be the, he's, he's gonna slay this semi-final. Okay, give me one. What. What's that? <gasps> they have amp up the staging. Yes. Oh my God. He has a big. Yes, for the big box. Oh my God. I love it. I love the fact he's climbing up and standing on the thing, and then you have the mimicking in the background on the LED wall. Brilliant. Genius. There. Are... Yes, ballroom dancers coming out. They have a new dance routine. We love it. <laughs> what is this? I mean, yeah, yeah, it's fresh. I like it very much. Yeah. I cannot recall the last time a song sang song completely in Finnish was this popular as this this song is. This, I mean, wow. I love the fact that they amp up the staging. Sweden, we got smaller, but Finland was like, no man, we are gonna do the opposite. They have a big box, he's standing on the box, the ballroom dancer is coming out of the box, and then he's controlling them like the master he, he is in green. And then, I mean, this is gonna be so iconic. I think this is, I think we have not seen a Eurovision performance this iconic as this is gonna be as Verka Serdushka's back in 20, 2007. I think this is gonna be as iconic as that. I mean, even though, I don't know if Finland's gonna win. If Finland doesn't win, he's maybe second, third in the finals. This is gonna be so iconic. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna say, Finland and Keria, you're gonna be like a Eurovision icon with this performance. I'm gonna be honest, I love it. Anyway, we have, I have a full list about how I rank this uh, rehearsals because some re some countries really stepped up the rehearsals and some uh, did done didn't I mean I'm gonna be honest the four bottom here is it's a little bit mix of the song and staging and I'm gonna be honest the one I have put dead last in my semi-final based on the rehearsals is Switzerland I'm sorry I was so bored I mean I love his vocals I love the m 4 vocals but overall I'm so bored with that staging uh, I'll put Ireland as 14. I hate the outfits. It's nitpicking at this moment because everyone else stepped up the game, but I hate Ireland's lead singer's outfit, so that's why he's so low. Uh, 13 is Azerbaijan. I mean, I love this whole 70s 
sway look and all of that but I think I'm gonna put it there a 13 because they did a good staging but they don't have the song the same for the Netherlands but the thing is that the Netherlands had a very decent Disney staging but they don't have the song either to qualify because this is gonna be a bloodbath and Katie came in and <laughs> slayed everyone uh, on 11 this is just song choice. I put Croatia. I mean, looking at the stagings, the top 11 did amazing, but song wise, I would not put Croatia through, but it's just a news, just my taste. But I'm gonna say, I think Croatia will go through, but if I would pick nitpicking, I would actually switch out Croatia for Latvia. And the same in Moldova. Moldova did, did a better version of the national selection staging. I think they did a very fantastic version with the whole culture vibe and dancing in the costumes was better. But it's the song. The song itself is mm. And on ninth place I put Norway. I actually asked uh, Eurovision Norway on Instagram about what my idea is that I want Alessandro to look more like a Viking Queen and there are some speculations that we might see a bigger outfit later on with a, li a little bit Elizabethan Elizabeth the first crown. I was like yes we need that so we might get a, we might get a costume change for Alessandro la later and on 8th place is Malta. The Basker actually stepped there. I, I had most the Basker pretty low before the rehearsals but they really nailed the staging for me with that one. Uh, so 7 is Portugal. Mimi Cat, I mean this is the rehearsals I'm expecting I want more from because I was like I mean we have the dress, we have the performances, but there's something missing. I was like I hope they don't have just black LED walls. It's neat picking. It's neat picking. It's all about the performance. And the big surprise for me is the Latvia version. Latvia's the performance and staging. I really liked that staging. That staging really amped up their song it made it so much better i love the sing i love the way the lead singer was doing his performance i love the lighting effects good one latvia you really can go to the finals with that staging i mean it's people think you know it's why do you focus so much on the staging we we it's an overall package we need everything uh fifth place serbia i really think he stepped up the game also from the national selection love that czech republic they are back in business after that after that rehearsals because beforehand I was like yeah Czech Republic might not qualify but now they actually have they have done it as I sh they should have done it from the beginning they have the six ladies more performing together singing together and making more an impact and the dress in pink might change it up who knows but I think they did an amazing job and our third place is Sweden. I mean, the mini version of Sloyan staging, it looks cute. But, yeah, it's, I'm gonna say she really, much, really pretty much kept the staging from Swedish Melfest, but in a tinier version, as, as it still works. It still works for me. And the queen for these rehearsals is Israel. I mean, Noah Kirel and that unicorn performance, girl. She's gonna give a Chanel Shlomo from last year run for her money because that's gonna be an iconic performance. But I'm gonna give the best staging of overall this semifinal to Lad Finland. That was so fun. I mean, yes, I had already written them down because I saw sneak peeks, photos, and some clips about this. I was like, okay, Finland, you got you got this boo. And I mean, I'm gonna say he amped up the chaos in a good way. Kerry came with the big box. Yeah, he came with everything. This is gonna be such an iconic performance and if they pull this off I'm gonna say he's gonna be as iconic as Verka Sredushka was with Lasha Tumbai back in 2007 That's an iconic song and he can be as iconic as her So anyway, thank you so much for watching this with me. Let's wait for more from performances from semifinal 2 The weaker version, the weaker semifinal, but anyway, bye